Hello, this video is to help you how you can use Datamere in real time and explaining its features. So Datamere is a data transformation SaaS built for all kinds of people, either they are analysts or non-technical people who wants to do the transformation or manage the metadata and with Datamere they can simply you know drag and drop it on UI or canvas and build a project as per the requirement. So it doesn't require much technical expertise as well. So it's a solution for no code, low code, and even code. So like if you know SQL very well, so it would allow you to write SQL scripts as well for as per your as per the transformations that you want to do. So I will quickly show you so how you can create a project in Datamere. So the prerequisites required for this uh, demo is like you need to have a valid Snowflake subscription and then a valid Datamere license so it's a cloud-based SaaS application so you can pretty much connect your snowflake with this data mirror and then you can start using it so for now i have already set up i have integrated my snowflake with data mirror so there is a bunch of documentation available in the data mirror site so you can download that you can look into that to connect your snowflake account to data mirror so once you set up your accounts the screen that you would see this is the home screen so the first thing you need to create a project so for now for this demo i'm going to create something like okay so this is the canvas area so we are going to build our transformations and everything by using drag and drop and my snowflake is already connected it's already integrated so you can see the available schemas the warehouses that are in my snowflake account the first thing is simply you can drag and drop whatever uh, tables that you want to pull in for the transformations. So you can simply say here, like the first part is, let me drag a table here. You can simply click on place button. So it will appear on the canvas. Now here you can see. <laughs> And for quickly, you can see the data preview as well here. And if you want, you can look at the metadata available. And you can see the data types and then the column names here. And the right side, you can see further information about your data schema and then from where it's coming. So what is your source? And if it is used in multiple projects in your data mesh, so it will show you the list here is here as well. So you can simply click, say pop-up appears. There you can see in what are all the projects that I have used this table. Okay, so now we have seen the preview. So let me take one more table just quickly. Let me take orders table. Now I can see my orders table. So you can see the data preview here as well. So everything, so this table is also used in two projects, including this one. So now I want to connect these two tables so that I can simply do it. So you just need to, if you see here, no transformation, so you can simply click on it. So you can see the available uh, data transformation uh, activities that you want to use. You can use it from here. So the first thing that I want to use is the join. So I can simply save and I can click on join. It will ask me for my source and then my uh, for the first table and then the second table. So here you can simply, so the most first table is orders and my second table is customers or else I can change. So this is my customer table and based on what column that I need to select here I can select. So here, if you can see, so it, it's already showing that based on which column that you can select, it gives you the probability of the matching rows between source and your target. So you can simply either use from the suggested columns or if you want, you can make your own join condition here. You can simply say, so based on which column that I want to join. So I'm gonna join with this table. And from my orders table, so I'm gonna join with my customer. Now the join has been, has been made, so it's gonna be inner join. So if you want to perform, you can take and click on any other joins if you want. So for now, let me go ahead with the inner join. Simply click apply. Now if you come here, that's a, it's already joined. 
Now if you can see, this is my source tables and this is my join table. And if you click on this, you can do the preview. You can pretty much see all the columns available. So by default, all the columns appear from both the tables because I didn't limit the columns that I want to see. And here we can see, look at the quick metadata quickly. So you can see all the columns from my first table, customer table, and my second table, order table, I can see it here. And I'm going to click on this new transformation and then let me select manage columns. And here, if you can see all the columns that you see here, so I just need to only a specific number of fields. Then I can simply uncheck all the fields. I'll check only the ones that I want in my target table. Let me click on this and auto key. And my C cast key. Okay. Simply click on apply. Now here you can see. Now this table has only the fields that I have selected from the transformation called managed columns. And if you want, you can do the real click on data preview and you can see the data from your inner joint tables and then the selected fields from your managed columns transformation. So now we have selected only a few fields in here in the managed fields. Uh, so we can actually even change the name, the label of these transformations here. So it will, be, will give more appropriate names, something like uh, selector fields. And then let's change it to join. So if you want, we can change the labels of the fields as well here. You can click here in the managed columns. Since out of 17 columns from customer and orders, we have selected only seven ones, seven columns. So I'm going to come here for the selected fields. I can simply change the name here. Let's say custom key. Instead of I'm just getting rid of the first two characters. And let's say something like you can give if you want you can change the field names as well here and simply click on apply and here if you come you can see that the field names got changed okay so now let's look at other transformations if you want so if you want you can build your own formula and I will, for that, you need to select the formula builder here. And you can see the bunch of uh, functions that are available, which you can simply use it from the list. And for now, let's take a sample of converting. Let's say that now we have C underscore name. So my requirement is to take out this customer and hash. So I just need only the numeric uh, field, numeric value from this field. So how we can do that? We can simply come here. Let's just look for replace. And here is my replace function. So just click on it. It will show you the details, the syntax, how you need to use this particular formula. And then here, we already have this. So we want to apply it, the formula in this field. So let me just simply copy this field. You can simply click on plus button because I want to create this as a new field. Simply click here. And then if you want, you can change the name. Let's say customer name. And I'm gonna use the formula here. If you want, you can simply click here. So it gets added automatically. So subject, it's going to be my field, customer name. And then pattern, just need to, whatever the value that you want to replace you can just mention it here in single quotes and you can third value is the parameter is optional if you want you can mention if you means 
this value gets replaced with the whatever the value that you pass here so for now i just need to remove this customer number so i'm gonna just stick with only two parameters here and then simply click done or you can say apply formula here so that the review gets updated automatically now here you can see the values it's just only the numerical out of this alphanumeric string so i'll simply click on done now here you can see this is the formula builder that we applied so let's just change to something like let's say hard column or maybe outer column let's just say we just updated only the customer field so i would simply say alter customer column okay so we have done bunch of transformations here so if you want you can use others as well if you want you can filter out the data and manage columns we have already used and aggregate is simply you know if you want to perform some certain aggregations like maybe some of maybe some of some field by a different field it's like a grouping by a particular level so you can use this aggregator so let me quickly say Let's just click on aggregate here and here you can see group by fields you can select by what field that you want to say let's say that i want to see how many phone numbers each customer have so something like that so here group by i need to just click on this c underscore name and simply apply here and measure here you need to apply whatever let's just say count or maybe sum so here you're looking for only the phone numbers you just just need to count the phone numbers for each customer so simply say c phone click apply and aggregator here you can select either you can select any value or you can simply say count so for now i'm gonna just get rid of this one because my target table structure is a bit different i cannot apply group by on this field at the moment so if we are good at sql so we can simply write the sql query here just simply click on that new sql view so i just want to create a sql on top of my previous transformations so i'm just allow it like this so now if you can add if you want to filter out some data you can do that or if you want to do some kind of aggregations and if you are good at sql you can pretty much write your select statement here and for now i'm gonna say not in let me just say a few of the fields i'm just we just what don't want to display these customer keys in my output table so I can simply say like this and quickly I can say run query and see those are filtered out or not yes those are filtered out you can here you can see and finally I can click on done and here is my transformation and if you want now finally the output if you want to store it back into your table you can simply click on publish or else if you want to download this as a CSV so till this part you can simply you know click on this download csv so now here you can see it's preparing the download of your query one so whatever the result set that you have currently here so that gets downloaded okay so my query result is prepared so now i can simply say download now so the file gets downloaded into our local machine Now let me quickly go back to my my local machine. Okay, so my query one result got loaded. So let me just quickly open it. So this is my query one result in CSV. Can see that output data 
of my result set from this transformation from, from SQL transformation or else if you want to write it back to a table in my snowflake then I can let me quickly select and I can simply select the schema where I need to load this table the output of my transformations here so I can simply select the schema from my snowflake and then simply say publish now here now here my output is published to query one in my snowflake schema called output so if you want you can click on you know refer publish and this gets introspected so if you want you can do multiple runs so whenever the source code are changed you can pretty much you can change you can republish it so the, all the changes will be applied so the output will be you not know, loaded in the form of a view so you can see the view code as well so whatever the transformations that you have done here so this will be converted into SQL like a view in my query output so I can quickly show you that in my snowflake account so let me go back to snowflake now here you can see so this is the one that we just published so you can preview the data Here you can see the preview data here, and, and also I can look at the code that's been written by Data Mayor. Now here you can see. So this is the SQL. Let me just put that in here. Here you can see it's pretty much just created a view for the same here you can see all these things we have applied it in the form of transformations in data mayor and finally we could see that it gets converted into sql so this is really good if you are a non technical person so you can use the data mayor using this drag and drop feature it's available and then you can pretty much you can do whatever you want to do and then finally just click on publish so the code will get converted the transformations will get converted into a view and will be stored into your snowflake account or else if you can want if you want you can download that into the csv format as well from here that's it for now thanks for watching this video i hope this will help you in your project thank you